Good morning. Today I want to celebrate, I want to chat, I want to announce the winners of my last giveaway. And there are three winners. And because it's my birthday, and well, last week was my birthday, and I turned 70, Timeless is going to be giving seven of my viewers a really, really nice gift. So, and they're going to provide those. Also, I'm going to tell you what this video was supposed to be. Every year on my birthday, I do a special, well, I kind of think it's special. Sometimes I'll do a get ready with me. One of my sisters asked me to do a get ready with me on my 70th birthday, and I did it this morning, and I used my iPhone 8, I think it is, and I can't get it off. I cannot get it from my phone to my computer, and it sh I should be able to. So we'll see if we can get this from my phone to my computer. But she wanted me to use some of my favorite makeup, and I'm gonna talk about that first, but then I've got a lot of other things to talk about. I, I don't do very bold eyeshadow looks. I used to, when I, but now I'm just really a lot more comfortable wearing like this much eyeshadow. Sometimes I do a little bit more, sometimes I do a little less. There are two eyeshadow palettes that I have repurchased. One of them is the Tartlet, the original Tartlet. It's all matte, and I think they still sell it. And the other one is, I think this is the Romance palette from It Cosmetics, and here are the shades. The green, I have, I think that's called Tranquil. I have that on my lids. I have Poetic in my crease. There's another one that I used. I used a little bit of sweetness and I used a little bit of this transforming pearl. And underneath my lashes, I did put some sweetness. I, you probably won't be able to see. But there was one thing I did that I have never seen anybody do on YouTube. But some of you that are my age or around my age might remember this. And I'm gonna go ahead and do it again. All we learned about for makeup was from magazines by staring at the photos. There was, I, I don't even know if there were any beauty books on how to. I think I did have one maybe when I was in my 20s. But what I learned is don't darken from here all the way over. That you need to, to open your eyes, you need to have some light here. So I took this little tiny BK Beauty brush and I put it in the lightest shade here, and I'll do it. And I just wanna know if you all remember this. And you put it right there. And what that is supposed to do is open up your eye. So that was my only really tip. I did use a little bit of the darker just to take this brush and just put a Put it right there, place it with a dark shade of eyeshadow, and right there, a dark shade, and just make myself a tiny little wing. I used lip liner, which I don't usually use, and I used it BK Beauty, the Spice lip liner, and I used Confidence in the lipstick. This is kind of like an old-fashioned face of the day. This is from Lisa from BK Beauty, and this is Confidence. I do like a this the shade a lot, and because I just like a little bit of a clear gloss, I just always have liked that. I put a little gloss on my lips, but I've had this on, I'd say, oh, about two hours. And my all-time favorite blush is from Hourglass, and I have had this Oh, I don't know. I've had it probably four or five years. And that's another reason to keep your brushes clean because you won't have any transfer of makeup that you'll brush on this and get what they call hard pan. So, I mean, mine's still in perfect condition. But that's what I did today. Everything else was just my normal stuff. Oh, I've got to tell you, I got a comment that absolutely made my day. And I wrote it down so I would say it verbatim. And the comment was, Sorry, honey, it's obvious you have had Botox around your eyes. I've never had anything done, never had a peel, never had anything done, but 
nobody had said anything like that to me in a while, and I thought, well, I guess, you know, my skin's not looking that great because nobody's accused me of anything. And I can honestly say at 70, I can't imagine ever having anything done. What would tempt me, I tell you what would tempt me, but I'm not going to do it, is Botox in my lips. No, not Botox. What would tempt me is filler in my lips, but I'm not going to do it. I didn't say never, but it's highly doubtful. But I'm, I'm just not into anything else, I think. I really do think it's exciting and interesting that there are so many, you know, even like chemical peels and that are, that are done in a spa or a doctor's office, different kinds of lasers. I think that's all interesting, but it's just not for me. I don't even want to sit down long enough to get my fingernails polished. I did get my hair uh, highlighted and roots covered up. It, she got kind of heavy on the highlights, but I do like it. I'm, ju I'm just going to keep doing what I've been doing in skincare, and if I want to tweak it a little bit, I will, and I'll let you know. And to me, it's truly, it's just kind of an experiment. What you can do at home to keep your skin in the best condition possible. And it's just kind of been a challenge and I've enjoyed it. I don't know if I have shared this with you or not. I've been making videos since 2014 and I've got like, I think 670 videos that are there. And I hate to repeat myself, but now I can't even remember what I said way back in the day. But my father, I really had, I really had, was so fortunate to have two really good parents. And on the Friday before my birthday, he had gone, got new glasses, went to a football game. Uh, you know, one of the tables that I had stripped and refinished, he was a Marine for 13 years, so he knew how to do just about anything. And he liked to, he liked the tongue oil finish but he used his bare fingertips to rub it in the heat from his fingertips. So he did that. That was the thing that he did for me was do the top of this table. And I picked it up and the next morning I got a phone call from him that he was in terrible pain. Went to the hospital on a Saturday. And anyway, to make a long story short, he died on my 35th birthday. And I've chosen to always think of it as a gift. You know, what else can you do? He was 72 years old and I just wasn't ready for him to go. But I, you know, you have to kind of tell yourself and talk yourself into accepting things. And I just realized recently that I lived 35 years with my father and now I've lived 35 years without him. And I think about him every single day. I think of my mother every single day. And I do believe they are with me. I believe it. So my birthdays are kind of bittersweet. It is, you know, it is what it is. I loved reading your comments from my last video. So many of you gave me such great sayings. And I would say about 80% of them I was familiar with, but some of you threw in some really good ones. The nuns in school would tell us that singing is twice praying. And I didn't hear that when I was kind of looking for that because sometimes like in, my, in bed after I've said my prayers, a lot of times I'll sing, I'll sing softly. Jim can't hear me and he's got a good voice and I don't. But I didn't hear that one, but I heard some great ones. So if y'all want to read those wonderful sayings, I'm going to put a link to my video up here. I know I spoke last time about vocabulary, just new words that, like gifted. Like these earrings were given to me for my birthday, I would say in the 90s. They're still perfect. This was given to me by Jim probably over 10 years ago. And the this was that Atabee chain. I don't know if you remember them. This is from the 90s, but I still like them and I, I doubt if I'll ever get to put any more beads on it. But I'm glad that I did get some of the bigger beads on the bottom. But any of my jewelry that you ask about, as a rule, it is old. I've had it forever. But anyway, I can't say they were gifted to me. I'm just, ha I just have, maybe that's my age. But I'm not critical of anybody else's vocabulary. I know that people are who they are, but it is funny how things kind of bug you. 
I got to tell you one more thing that I didn't mention that does kind of bug me because I think it's, I know it's laziness. I don't know if have any of you noticed how people, especially younger people, 40 and down, 40 and younger, they drop the T in words. Like they don't say important, it's important. They don't say button, they say button. I don't see how, I mean, that, I better be quiet. <laughs> well, thankfully some workers pulled up, so I'm gonna move on to the next subject. It may get a little bit noisy. And I am not changing my channel name. I'm still gonna be Mary Ellen after 60. If there's anybody out there that remembers my original name when I started my channel, let me know below. I was, the name of my channel was Sensational After 60 because life was sensational after 60 and it's sensational after 70. I'm gonna make sure that it is because it's all just in how we choose to think about things. So I'm still gonna stay the same because I'm always gonna be after 60. Autumn is my very, very, very favorite time of the year. It is, I'm just feel so blessed. I love to get up and put on a sweater, put on a jacket, and I appreciate having all four seasons. My favorite is autumn, spring, winter, and summer in that order. And before I announce what the giveaway and what you need to do, I want to announce my winners from last time. I put all of the names in random comment picker and I put the word brush. So any comment that had the word brush came up and here's what the person's gonna win. It's the Angie Hot and Flashy Brush Set by BK Beauty. They gave this to me and I have enough brushes and I love her brushes. And you can use it like this and bring it up. It can kind of be a cup holder and then zip it down. And it's a good way to store your brushes. So the first name that came up, it was Sonia Hubbard. Congratulations, Sonia. And then I had two more $100 winners. And those, that's, I provide that. I always put back a certain percent of what I make from YouTube. That's how I come up with the money for that. If I didn't have viewers watching my channel using my links, I wouldn't make sense. I'd just be talking to myself. So the first name that came up on the $100, it's Debbie Talbot. Congratulations, Debbie. And the last name that came up was Jackie Norwood. Congratulations, Jackie. You three need to leave a comment below and I'll let you know how to get back in touch with me. Also, I hope you all know how to get your replies from me. One of my viewers that I've known for a long time on my last video, and she said, because when I say I have a giveaway, I cannot answer the questions on the giveaway. But if you go to any other video, if you ask me a question, I can get back to you. Well, Lori has said in her comments, well, I asked you a question twice and I guess you just hadn't had a chance to get back to me. Well, I could look up, I can search a person's name if I know the name and see the comment. So I found both of the comments and I screenshot them and I happened to have her email because she had won a giveaway some time ago. So I me emailed her and, and pasted, you know, my her question and my answer, her question and my answer. And so, but she said she never did get the reply. So if you don't know how to get replies, go to YouTube and say, how do I find my replies on YouTube? Well, I'm going, now I'm gonna talk about my giveaway on this video and it's from Timeless. They're going to send these out and I'm really excited. And I'm gonna put a photo up here of what they are going to be giving away. And I use all of the products except for this is the dark circle eye cream, and I use a hydrating eye cream. And the spray is a cucumber and hyaluronic acid. And this spray I use in a, I, I don't like to spray anything on my face, but the other products I use and I love. So, okay, since this is a giveaway, I can't reply. Go to any other video and I will get back to you, whether it says I can or can't, I can get back to you. 
just, I can't on a current giveaway. I'm gonna close this giveaway in three days. I'm going to announce the winners in my next video. And what I want you to say is, in a sentence, just tell me your favorite color. I, that makes me happy. My favorite color is pink. Always has been and probably always will be at this point. It is all good. I wanna thank everybody for being here, for giving me a thumbs up, for watching my videos, for sharing them with your friends. I appreciate it. And I will see you in my next video and take care. So I'm gonna announce the winner, then liking my, well, and it did not a really, really nice. We'll get, <laughs> and I missed him. It was, uh, and you can't afford to add beads to them anymore, but the whole 